www.decibets.com Mr. Khan! Go with you, teacher, and stay in the school, or I'm bloody fixing you. Is a bloody stupid. Can you tell me about this guy on that map car? Do you not know who he is? Oh, maybe he doesn't want to. Switzerland. To be a Pakistan. Pakistan. Hi, this is Om Puri Urf George Khan. You're watching me on DesiBlitz.com. We have the extreme pleasure of interviewing the legendary Mr. Om Puriji and rising new talent Akeem Khan today. Mr. Buriji, how would you compare West is West to East is East? What were the challenges for you? Well, East is East is uh, great fun. Um, but the Asian family, the revelation, it's much more funny. But West is West is more deeper um, in terms of emotions. There are much more emotions in West is West than East is East. And as far as George Khan is concerned, he is different in East is East. He is a tyrant, he is authoritarian. But in West is West, he is much mellowed. So would you say it was easy for you filming in India, in the Punjab, compared to when you were filming East is East in England? No, it was easy here also. And uh, there also we didn't have any problems. We were expecting that you know we mo might draw a lot of crowds uh, during the filming and may come in our way. But uh, since we were shooting not in the main town, we were much away from the town. The house was in a quite a isolated place. There were fields around. The only difficulty we had because we had a sync sound and there were fields around. So sometime, you know, from a mile, the, there was some t tractor sound or somebody is playing a flute. So that used to come in the way. So they had to really have the volunteers spread over miles to be able to request them that please stop for five minutes. Uh, we want to take a shot. <laughs> And Akib, how hard was it for you to get the role in West is West? Oh, um, yeah, it's pretty random for me because I've never had any um, acting background. I've never acted before. I've never done drama as a subject in school or anything. So um, I just came across the audition slip. I thought I'd give it a go. I went to it and uh, I was the last person into the audition. And the rest of the people were from drama schools. So I'm really fortunate I got picked. I'm really grateful to um, Leslie Odwin, Angie Carroll, the casting director, and the director Andy Diemny, and everybody on cast and the crew. They were fantastic. They just made it so easy for me. And obviously watching Mr. Ampuri every day, just he just taught me something new. Wow, that's great. And to be honest, just by looking at the pair of you now, you really do look as though you're best friends, if anything. I know, honestly, you really do. And Mr. Pudiji, um, you are very well known for your versatility as an actor. From obviously Titu in Long Darishkara to George in Parole Officer and also George Khan in West is West as well as East is East. How hard is it for you to do so many different roles? Well, that's the, that's the beauty. Uh, because see, every individual, I think, to some extent, has the has the capability or the capacity to act. But it may be very limited. You may be able to do one kind of part which is close to your own personality. But to be able to do something which is totally against your personality, that is the challenge for an actor. And the true actor is who can do variety of parts and uh, make you believe in different characters. Wow, that's terrific. And coming back to yourself, Akib, what are you looking to achieve from West is West? I just hope West is West as well, because it's a fantastic film. I've seen it over 10 times, and every time I see it, it just, it's just refreshing. After, after the film's over, I just can't speak properly. So when I do a question and answer with the audience, I can't get some words into my head because it's such a fantastic film, and it brings back so many memories. I just hope that because this film relates to everyone across the world. I mean, we've been to America, we've been to Berlin, we've been to Toronto, and they, they all, people from there say, that's my story. 
I mean, are they relate to it because of the morals of the story. So I just hope it gets out there for everyone to see and judge for themselves. We heard, Mr. Bordigi, a little rumour that you had to watch East is East a few times just to get your accent back again. Is this true? Yes, it is. It is. Because it's been so many years now. So I watched East is East again to be able to, because it's a very, actually, very interesting uh, thing happened during East is East. They had a, a tutor coming in uh, to teach the accent, northern accent, to the other actors. And I asked Damien, I said, do I need to put on an accent? He said, no, you, you speak your Indian accent, that's fine. So I was not part of that class. But uh, when we started filming the first day of the f shoot, I suddenly felt that I should, I should have had some accent. No, because I must have picked up my English from my wife, um, Ella. And the way Ella speaks, I should be speaking almost like that. You know, copying her, but may not be perfect copy. So I asked Damien, I said, this is what I feel. He said, but now it's too late. The tutor is gone. I said, don't worry about that. I will manage. So I asked Ella, you know, the Linda yeah. to read my lines with with that accent. So in a way, I bit of her accent and bit of my own we coined, which became quite an interesting uh, combination, combination of the two. Like the film, hey, sorry. It was genuine, like the film then. And Akib, did you have to make any changes or adjustments to fit into your character as well? Well, um, being from Bradford and Yorkshire, we don't use the word the much. So I right, uh, put that in and use the letter T more often. But apart from that, I found it pretty good. Hi, you cousin. I'm your first cousin. Your daddy is my cha-cha. But I am married to your sister, Rehana. My daddy is cha-cha. Mm -hmm. Also, another thing, Mr. Bori G, what kind of research did you have to do before the making of each film just to be able to fit into character? Well, uh, it was a well-written script. So you get all the information from the script. Um, and uh, I had shot two films in uh, north of England. I mean, I did uh, My Brothers in Trouble and My Son the Fanatic in that area and I interacted with taxi drivers and with, uh, you know, going out to the restaurants to eat, etc. So generally one felt the pulse of the people. So there was really not any difficulty except the accent. Could you please tell us at least one funny moment on the set of West is West? Well, they, a lot of them had fun at my cost. Because whenever there was time after the shot, I used to find a court and lie down and within minutes I used to fall asleep and snore loudly. So if they were taking somebody else's shot, they had to wake me up to say, please stop snoring. Right. <laughs> <No>? That's quite funny. <laughs> and to conclude the interview now, we would like to know what advice would you give to young new actors? And if we were to sit here and take Akib as an example, what advice would you give to Akib too now that you have actually worked with him? Well, Akib, uh, I will suggest him that he shouldn't take his uh, stardom for granted. And nobody should. Because for each performance you have to work harder. And uh, for any young actor, I would say, particularly actors in this medium, is that they the training is very important. The looks are important to some extent, but then you have to go through a proper channel. If uh, Akib wants to be an actor, then I would really request him or suggest him that first he should have complete his formal education and then he should get into a drama school or a film school to learn acting. Like Tandoori Red. I would like to get married too. 
Me too. Baba, huh? Too old. Left on three speed. I'm the one in the red. Too much color. Too much sun. And the one next to her. No. Never, never, never pick up all in that. Baba, huh? Shout all the time. Talks too much. Listen to the radio all night. I'd like to talk to your dad actually. Got a proposition for you.